Okay, so I have made some cookies today. Yay! Making, making. They are not baked yet. You see my little scar? Wonderful. I accidentally was cooking and the knife slipped and yeah. Alright, to the topic today. Trisha Paytas and Roger Bart. This is a controversial video. It's a hot topic on YouTube and because I would like to put myself out there because this is a new channel, a weird channel, obviously. I just thought, why not do a hot topic that people are talking about? So, I had no idea who Roger Bart was. I know, that's sad. It is. But I didn't know who he was. I had to Google him. I knew who Trisha Paytas was because I've been watching her on YouTube for years. She's entertaining, she's controversial, and people actually believe some of her troll videos. This could have been a troll video. Yeah, it could have. But... I'm going with the assumption that it was real because she does have some real videos where she's actually crying and showing emotion and this seemed to be one of those. That being said, I just got out of a relationship. I had a breakup a month ago. I'm going to make a video about that. It's in the description, actually, because I uploaded that and this video together. So I kind of kind of understand some of the things she was saying. I wasn't cheated on in my relationship, thank God. But. I understand where she's coming from when she says things like he's not a good person but she still has feelings for him she still loves him and it's hard it's true and also she mentioned that people around her were telling her he's not a good guy I kind of had a similar thing in my relationship people around me were telling me to leave my ex and that I shouldn't be there and that no he's not going to do what he says blah 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 you should leave and like her I didn't listen and I'm going to talk more about that in the actual relationship video that you can see. But in her case, she also mentioned that she's had issues, depression. She's talked about this in her channel before. As someone who has also struggled with that, I can relate to that. I understand that when you have issues anyways, somebody comes in and hurts you again. It just amplifies it. It amplifies the pain and... Your, your wall that you already had up becomes bigger, taller, thicker, and you just push people away. You're like, I'm sick of this. Everyone's the same kind of deal. And that's how you get people who end up making these broad generalizations and broad statements where they discriminate a huge amount of people because they've been hurt by people, multiple people, and for some reason they pick out the one common factor amongst these people besides themselves because sometimes... The problem is us. It's not the other people. The other people might be bad, but we can't control them. We can control ourselves. It could be that we're allowing these bad people to treat us a certain way, and they know that, and they see that, and they come in. And that's why a lot of people who end up in bad relationships where they're treated wrong, they're people who don't value themselves. And this douchebag comes along. They see that. They realize they can get away with treating the person poorly. And... The person gets hurt, feels worse about themselves, finds someone else, but they still have self-esteem issues. Another douchebag comes along, can see that, hey, I can do whatever I want, and they'll just take it. And the cycle continues. So sometimes the issue is that we really need to respect ourselves. That might be with Trisha. That's probably a thing she might. But again, in human relationships, it is necessary to trust other people. It's necessary to take risk and there has to be a balance you need to take risk but at the same time you need to be smart and you need to watch out for yourself and you also need to have respect for yourself and you got to learn to love yourself because if you don't love yourself you don't treat yourself right someone else might come along and you might let them treat you even worse so that's all I have to say about that. I'm going to put these cookies in the oven, and I will see you later.